How we doing? This is Fox back again for Sound Design Tutorials. Uh, carrying on still with the deconstruction of this electro track that I made using Serum. Today we're going to be going over just a simple pad. It's uh, an under layer as I'll call it. Hardly audible on its own but it just has a bit of continuity and does exactly what it says. It's a pad. It's in uh, two separate stages really. The first stage is in this first part where it comes in as sort of half bar stabs like this. Full bar stubs, sorry, and then there's a bar gap. It's a heavily side chain compressed to the kick. It's present throughout pretty much most of the track actually, all bar the main the main drop. So yeah, as I said, it's doing exactly what I wanted it to, just pads out the track. Um, it's a real simple patch, I'm gonna call it a simple pad. That is it in the first part, I say, where it's in one bar stabs and then bar gaps, and then on this section it's more continuous, just the same chord but played constantly. And I've done some modulation with an auto filter to give it a bit of movement. Same pad used totally differently for two different parts. But yeah, we're going to break this down now bit by bit. So I'm going to go ahead and initialize this preset. So I used two oscillators. Oscillator A was one of the digital waveforms and it was Evol Sweep, which is this one. Solo it. I'm going to deactivate this auto filter now so you can hear it with all of the elements in. one. I've got uh, an auto filter cutting it down to 615 hertz constantly in the track. That's how I made it to make it fit but as I say I'll take everything off for now. This is some heavy EQing. I'll leave that EQing on because that really is what toned it and made it the sound that I wanted it. It's a cut anything below 200 hertz is totally gone. This real deep cut around three and a half to 400 hertz. It was causing me a lot, a lot of grief when I came to do some mixing at the end. I, I had to do rid of that, otherwise there was a lot of phasing issues. And then the rest is just to make it fit in the track where it was. So yeah, I will turn this off actually, so you can hear what the pad sounds like without it, but <clears throat> in the context of the track, that is the EQ and I did to make it sit. So yeah, it's quite a, an electric, organy sounding uh, wavetable this is. The wavetable position I push around. It's about 10 o'clock. I'll give it four voices of unison. Phase, random, pan and level all where they come as standard. I'll just show you this chord quick so you can see what notes are playing played if you want to recreate this yourself. The bottom one is A2. A2 to A3, so it only covers one octave. Okay, oscillator B is another digital waveform. It is harmonic series. Um, a wavetable position. If you look at this wavetable, it's just a load of sine waves gradually getting more stacked together, creating more harmonics as it goes through. I had the wavetable position pretty much there at three. So you can see one, two, three spikes and three troughs, three cycles. Uh, the unison I had to three voices. Detune about 0.09. Blend phase, random pan and level, all where it comes as standard. I didn't do any uh, warp, anything from the warp menus for either, either either of these two oscillators. As I say, it was a real straightforward, real simple pat patch to make. Um, I did use a filter, but I only had A running through the filter. Oscillator B uh, bypassed the filter and went straight out. So yeah, turned the filter on. It was a Moog low 12 again. The cut-off point I had set about 
a thousand hertz. You can start to hear that phasing issue now. It's not too much resonance, so I'll give it a tiny bit of drive, but I think it might be to do with the unison and oscillator B that created that, but I say it happens sometimes when you're making patches, patches with uh, wavetables, these complex, you're going to need to do some heavy EQing to get it to sound and sit how you wanted it to. But yeah, that pretty much covers the basic layout of the patch. I did some modulation with envelope 2, I modulated the uh, wavetable position of this oscillator the cut off for the filter a couple of other things later on so we'll set this envelope up now quickly uh, the attack time adds uh, 1.9 seconds quite a long attack time 1.8 1.9 straight in the curve off so it's pretty much dead dead straight um, hold decay sustain and release how they all come as standard so um, the, the main job of this envelope is to slowly do what we tell it to, so it's going to take two seconds. The attack time is how long it takes for the, the amount of modulation that you choose to take full effect. So we're going to t tell it to uh, move this wavetable over time from its original position that we had at 10 o'clock to about 1 o'clock on a clock dial. You'll see this moving now. That that two that two seconds was pretty much how long it took uh, a bar to finish. That's why I set it. See this blue dot that goes up? That's following the the attack time over the time. Obviously, you can see it just about finishes when the notes stop in this MIDI clip. That's all I wanted it for, uh, so that it was continuous movement over the whole bar. So once we've done that, I also used envelope 2 to modulate the cutoff to give it even more movement. I use it to open the filter up from where we had it at 1 o'clock to pretty much all the way around to maximum. Yeah, that's it for this page. I didn't use any noise or any sub oscillator or anything like that. So the main thing is to make sure that the oscillator B goes straight out. So only this little uh, white box is clicked. So the only oscillator A goes into the filter. Uh, we'll go ahead and set the effects up now. I had a phaser on. The rate I had set at 0 hertz. So all the way down to zero. Um, the depth I had at about 20% frequency where it comes as standard feedback and the phase all where they come the mix I had quite down low about 7% I use that same envelope envelope 2 to open this mix round so as the notes progress over that one bar section that we got the phase is going to come in and you're going to hear it so from its starting position about 8 o'clock to about in between 12 and 1. You can hear the phaser coming in towards the end of the lower notes. The other one I'd use was a reverb. I really love this reverb in here. It's brilliant. <laughs> Does everything you need it to. So easy to use. Damp. High cut with a mix. That's all I did really. Didn't hardly touch it, just pushed the pre delay out to only a bit to five milliseconds. Almost sounds like you got a delay on it with the uh, side chain compression because the reverb tail carries on after the notes stop, but the, the compression gives it that pumping feel. So yeah, that's it in the section where it's one bar. This is what it sounds like in the constant bit. Not very pleasant. And that's why I did this EQ in. I say I'll turn the EQ on. Turn these filters on as well to give it some modulation.
totally changed the characteristic of the pad that I've made, but it, it's how I wanted it and it's how it fitted in this track. So that's it for the patch. Pretty straightforward, simple pad. Um, I'll play it in through quickly. So it's quite quiet, so you might not be able to hear it over everything else. I'll play it here. Here you can hear it because it's part of the build up. This second auto filter is dulling it right down. Again, you can open the filter up, you don't have to have any filters on it all, you can use the patch as I made it, but this is how I did it to make it fit in this track. Um, you are going to be able to download this uh, full project file if you want this track. Uh, you can email me or contact me on Twitter. A link will be in the description for this. And also I'll do a link to the full track so you can uh, see how I made the track and see how this patch was used in context while I was making it. Yep. So that's pretty much it for now. This is the other part. The constant. So when the whole track's in, you can hardly hear it. It's just a nice little undertone, just sort of helping the track progress along. But yeah, it worked really well for me. Brilliant synth again. Nice simple pad. Uh, as always, if you've enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe. Check out some of my other CRM tutorials. I've been doing quite a few lately. I'm going to finish off these uh, next couple that I've done in here. I've got this. The one that we're doing next will be this sound. I don't know whether it's going to be worth going over this. Yeah, I will do. Simple. It's only one oscillator, a saw wave, bit of unison. It's all about the modulation, what we've got with the phaser and the effects. Amazing you can get all that from a saw wave. But yeah, that's it for now anyway. Simple pad in X4 Records Serum. Okay, thanks again for watching. Cheers.